Hey guys, this is Heather from HealthyVeganRecipes.net. So today my recipe is inspired by the wonderful bounty of fresh parsley that Phil has growing for me outside. Basil season has come and gone. We've made a ton of pesto. And what I'm gonna make today is a parsley pesto with some pistachios and some lime. It's gonna taste awesome and it's gonna be packed with nutrients. This week on my nutrition site I was talking about the uh, nutrients in parsley. It is crazy high in vitamin K and also iron and folate, which are pretty important nutrients. So getting them in your parsley is awesome. Now, when you get your parsley from the garden, sometimes it has really thick stems on it. So just trim those off when you put them into your food processor. And um, that's pretty much the hardest thing about this recipe today is cutting the stems off the parsley. Other than that, it is super simple. We're gonna throw a bunch of stuff into the food processor, turn it on, and then out comes magnificence. So in with the parsley, I've got some garlic, some lime juice, and some lime zest. Last ingredient, but very not least, are some pistachios. They have been shelled, of course. If you don't want to use pistachios, or if you can't find any, you can also use pumpkin seeds in this recipe. Easy swap. Okay, so put those in there and then turn it on. Stop and scrape down the sides whenever you need to. Mm, it smells awesome already. As you can see, things like to stick to the sides, so just keep scraping down until you get it to a nice chopped up consistency. Actually often what I'll do is grind the nuts or seeds in a coffee grinder or a magic bullet before I put them in the food processor because then they get ground up more finely than what goes on in here. Okay, moment of truth, taste test. There's a little pinch of salt in here too, I forgot to mention that. Mm -hmm. Really yummy very tangy. <laughs> I, uh, I went a little overboard on the garlic, so it's quite garlicky. It's also very limey, which I like. You can also add about a tablespoonful of extra virgin olive oil if you want to, or you can leave it out, depending on what you like. Um, I've also done this with a little bit of tahini, just to make it creamier, or a quarter of an avocado is another way to make a nice creamy pesto. Okay, so that's the basic idea. And as I said, there are a few variations that you can do to go in different directions. My favorite use for pesto is to put a little spoonful on top of a soup. Um, I also like to put it on sandwiches or in wraps or as the base sauce for a pizza. So experiment with it and do whatever you like. I used parsley, but of course pesto is traditionally made with basil, so you can go that way and use the traditional pine nuts. The amounts are about the same, but I just had a whole bunch of parsley and wanted to show you something fun you can do with it. So I hope you enjoy, and you'll find all of the ingredients and directions on the website, healthyveganrecipes.net. So that is it for me today, guys. See ya.